Hi, hey, Anna, it's your brother. Yes. It's your brother. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey, good to see so, you. Good to see you. I'm looking forward to talking to you tomorrow about uh, racism and faith. And uh, we're going to be referencing Austin Channing Brown's book, I'm Still Here. The uh, Rivermont's reading that book as a church. Um, and right. you've read it before, correct? I, ha I have read it a couple of times. I don't have it anymore because I keep passing it around to people. I think it's great. One of the things uh, I, I'm hoping we're going to talk about is the things that, that I didn't notice until you adopted the twins. Uh, mm -hmm. And the most like stark example was when uh, angels came up. Uh, can you uh, just say a little bit about that, that story yeah. and how it came up even? So my husband was reading um, the children's Bible to one of our twins when she was seven, and she asked why the angels were always blonde. And my husband was like, that can't be right. You know, so he's flipping through and in that book, at least they were. And he called me in because he was nervous. <laughs> he was like, um, can you come help me with, with this situation? And, you know, our Bible was just a, what I thought a standard Protestant Bible. It was not <laughs> specifically for white people. Um, but the angels were all blonde. So then I started going through our Christmas books, other Bibles we had in the house and just across the board. They were blonde and there's you know not something i had noticed i don't have anything against blondes a lot of my best friends are blonde um but it was a hard thing to see through our child's eyes and why was that i had all these books about race and adoption and the thing that was hurting her heart was our bible mm and how painful that was. And I really, I mean, I went through all our books and all our Christmas books. Um, and in the middle of the night, after I had ordered a couple of <laughs> new Bibles um, online, I remembered a friend had started doing some paintings that I had seen, somebody that I knew in town and um, all the angels that she had painted for people's houses and different shows and different places, they also were blonde. But I knew her enough through a couple of people to get in touch with her and just say, um, I need your help with something, and I hope you're open to this, but I need some angels of color um, for my house. And so we talked about it a lot, about what they would look like, and um, we ended up putting them, um, these really neat paintings, in our kitchen, because I had thought I might put them in the twins' room, but then I decided it was something that not only the twins needed to see every day that we needed it too, um, because it, it just shifts your understanding if it's what you're looking at. I mean, representation matters, mirrors, you know, what you're, what's looking back at you matters. Um, and it comes up a lot in our house when people come in the kitchen and it surprises them, which kind of should give us all pause that that's a surprising image. Right, right. Uh, and so part of, it's emblematic of, that the norm is, uh, yes. uh, right. it, it, which of course goes with the uh, subtitle of Brown's book, right? Uh, in a world uh, made for whiteness. I'm super grateful and looking forward to seeing you tomorrow uh, at, you better be early. She, I'm always waiting on Anna. Oh my oh, God. Like in high school when I would honk outside so we could go to, Go to school. Yeah, that's exactly our pattern. Love it. All right. I love you. Looking forward to talking to you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Can you send me an